What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how Unicode homoglyph SQL injection works. The word of the day is homoglyph. A homoglyph is a character that visually resembles another character. So for example, the lowercase letter L is a homoglyph for the number one because they basically look the same way. You could say the same thing as for the letter O and the number zero. You can also have Unicode homoglyphs, which are Unicode characters that have a lookalike in a non-Unicode encoding. So for example, in Unicode, you might have this little right apostrophe character, and in something like a Latin encoding, which doesn't have that, the homoglyph would be just a single quote. So all this is important for us to know because of how SQL Server goes about converting Unicode characters to their non-Unicode homoglyphs. For example, if I try to cast a Unicode character into a non-Unicode data type like char, SQL Server will implicitly convert that Unicode apostrophe to the non-Unicode single quote homoglyph. This matters because an attacker can use this trick to perform SQL injection. Note that if you're using the recommended SQL injection preventing functions of SP execute SQL or quote name, then you're safe. This only applies if you're trying to write your own security code which you're not, because writing your own security functions is a terrible idea. So let's write our own security function. Warning, seriously, don't use code like this, because as you'll soon see, it's very exploitable. Here, we have a stored procedure, which is appending single quotes to all the existing single quotes in our username parameter as a way of avoiding SQL injection attacks. If we test a normal SQL injection attack, our code works great. You deserve a raise. However, if we try using this parameter with our Unicode apostrophe character, then the SQL injection works and all our data gets revealed. Uh, you're fired. The reason this happens is because we declared our query parameter as varchar. When we try to append our user parameter, which is our Unicode and varchar, to our query parameter, SQL Server does an implicit conversion, which then converts our homoglyph apostrophe to our single quote. So if I replace single quotes and apostrophes in my code, then I'll be safe? No, there's a whole slew of homoglyphs already available today, and there's more getting added all the time. Trying to maintain a list of them all would just be a maintenance nightmare. So how do I write secure dynamic SQL? Use SP execute SQL and quote name as I outlined in my other videos about SQL injection. Well, that's it for today. I hope you learned why trying to write your own SQL injection security functions is a terrible idea. Please like, comment, and subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.